It's like driving to work. If you take one wrong turn, you really think you can't go to work that day? So what? It's one wrong turn. Coach Greg and an update on Brantley who's on a successful weight loss journey. And in this update, he explains the fact that he's been cheating on his diet, he's had some stressful times, but that he's still well on his way to losing the weight. And so he stopped weighing himself, stopped keeping himself accountable, and started having more cheats. He was eating off plan, not eating the foods that he knew he should be eating. And so when he finally weighed himself, he was shocked to see that his weight had actually gone down. I'm going to explain why that happened, but I need to remind you that on my plans, it's very important to continue to weigh yourselves. Yeah, I get it. You don't want to know. You don't want to be stressed out over your weight, but that is what's telling you whether or not what you're doing is working or if you have to make some changes. If you fall off the wagon, so to speak, and start cheating on your diet and eating anything and everything, it's inevitable that you're going to eventually gain weight. Calories in, calories out. And so what weighing yourself in the morning before getting dressed and so on, what it does is it gives immediate feedback. And no, it's not going to go down every single day. But what you need to do is be consistent. If it's up a few times, if your weight went up three times in a week, but it went down four, well, overall you did good. And remember, do not judge your self-worth based on whether or not the scale goes up or whether it goes down. It's simply giving you feedback. And so despite the fact that he was stressed out and resorted to eating junk food over the last three days, it wasn't enough to deter his weight loss. He states that I now understand that you can in fact eat junk food and still be on a diet. In the past, he thought if you eat junk, then it's bad. But what you need to do is have balance. And that is what he's doing. Previously, he would eat multiple bags of Oreos, chips, 12 cans of pop, not diet. And that resulted in extreme weight gain. But... In moderation, you can still eat cookies, you can still eat chips, you can still eat donuts, but what you need to do is have balance. And if you don't overeat these things and you're in a calorie deficit, of course you're going to lose weight. And so it's not about being or eating perfect, it's about being or eating better than you were. You know, being irresponsible these last three days, but maybe I haven't been as irresponsible as I thought I was because I've still managed to lose two pounds during that time. And so although he's eating some junk food, it's not as much as he used to. And so you can still have cheats. You can still have foods that you don't feel are healthy so long as you're doing so in moderation. You don't have to be perfect. And for the most part, people go on a diet. They start eating chicken, broccoli, and rice, doing two-a-day training. They take on more than they can chew, almost literally. And eventually, their willpower runs off. They fall off the wagon, whether it's stress or something else, and it causes them to eat. And so once they eat off plan, once they have one cheat, they think, oh, I blew it. No point in going back to my diet. I may as well just keep binging. And that's where people make the biggest mistake. They think that one bad cheat has to lead to another. But it's okay. Weight loss is a journey. It's not a straight course from point A to point B. There's often going to be zigzags, perhaps a detour. Perhaps you went the wrong way. That's okay. You circle back and then move forward yet again. And so regardless if it takes you three months or three years to lose that weight, the point is that you keep trying. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to make the straightest route. You can take the route you want. There are so many different diets out there, so many different ways to lose weight. But what you do need to remember is to lose weight, you need to be in a deficit. He posted a video today. I screwed up bad, but still lost two pounds. Eat donuts, but lose 10 pounds. Binge responsibly. And so regardless of how you choose to lose the weight, so long as you're in a calorie deficit, it's going to work. And so one of the biggest pieces of advice I give to people is that they don't need to change everything in their diet. Make small changes that you can do for the rest of your life. If you like cookies and you eat 10 a day, don't expect to stop eating cookies altogether. But if you go from 10 cookies to five, or perhaps replace those cookies with a healthier, lower calorie version, you can continue to eat those for the rest of your life. And so if you're trying to diet right now and you're struggling, find the easiest changes that you can make and start with those first. Perhaps it's going from regular pop to diet. Perhaps it's buying my freaking cookbook. Brentley states in his video how much he loves lasagna. Have low calorie lasagnas in this book. So if you swap from the regular lasagnas you're eating to lower calorie lasagnas, you will need to make a single change. That one single change, it is enough to lose weight. If you eat fewer calories than you were, you're going to lose weight. 
And so weight loss, it's a challenge that you will do for the rest of your life. It's not a short-term fix. Once you lose the weight, that is only the tip of the iceberg. Underneath the water, that's the rest of it. Continuing to stay on that diet, continuing to keep the weight off, it's hard. But what you can do is make these small changes that you hardly even notice. But if you have to change your entire diet, it's not going to last. You won't be able to maintain it. Another thing I highly, strongly recommend, GO2 Max, the main ingredient, NMN, that is going to help you to perform cardio at a higher pace. You become a better butter burner. You burn more calories in less length of time. And so the main ingredient, NMN, has recently been banned by the FDA. They can only sell it on Amazon up till March 13th. Please click the link in the description, code Greg, 10% off. It's quite literally the number one supplement that I recommend of all the supplements that I'm taking. I have been, in a way, stressed extremely stressed. And so despite that he was under stress, despite the fact that he resorted to junk food, what he did was ate less of it. He ate it in moderation. And he continued to do his workouts. He continued to go to the gym. He still did his cardio. And so with calories in, calories out, you can still have cheats. You can still eat off plan. So long as you don't overdo it, it's okay. Yes, you're not going to lose his weight as quickly if you're eating more calories. But if you're following the plan for the most part, doing your cardio, burning off the calories, it's okay to cheat on your diet. And personally, I wouldn't even consider it a cheat. I think it should be planned. When I do diets for people, and this even includes bodybuilders competing in a show, every single day they can eat a meal off plan. It's part of the plan. And so cheating is part of the plan. And because of that, it's not actually a cheat. It's part of your diet. You're supposed to eat like this. You don't have to eat perfect foods that are all considered healthy in order to have a healthy diet. But what you do need to do is eat the appropriate amount of calories for your body weight, size, and activity levels in order to lose weight. And so it's not about being perfect. It's about being better than you are. And so in comparison to a year ago, he still binged, yes, but he binged on fewer calories. He ate less of the junk and continued to go to the gym. Oftentimes people, they just fall off the wagon, give up, they don't train they stop cardio and they just throw in the towel that is not the answer you owe it to yourself to be the best version that you can possibly be and that version it's not going to be perfect there's going to be slip-ups but so long as you continue so long as you try you are going to be successful and so Brantley knows eating like that was irresponsible but he loves those foods and so because he loves those food he shouldn't give them up you can still eat these foods there's not one single food that you should never be allowed to eat ever again no matter who you are, no matter how much weight you've gained, there's nothing you have to completely give up. You can always exercise moderation. And the more exercise you get, the more calories you burn off, and the more of those foods you can eat. On top of a good diet, cardio to me, that is the secret. That is in fact the most underrated part of trying to lose weight. If you do cardio, you become a better butter burner, you burn more calories than last time, you can eat that much more. And the more food you can eat, the easier it is to stay on a diet. Think of it. Which diet's easier to follow? The diet where you can eat a lot of calories or the diet you have to starve yourself on? And so with more cardio comes more food, more food, more calories, and easier to control your weight. And so one of the main reasons why people gain so much weight is they don't have the knowledge. It's not actually your fault. You're not born knowing all this. If your parents said, hey, drinking juice is healthy. Hey, those muffins, they're so healthy. You should eat muffins without telling you how much fat and sugar in the muffins or I'll tell you all the sugar and calories in that juice. Then you don't know better. But the more Coach Greg videos you watch and the more educated you become, the easier going on a diet it really is. You learn which foods work best for you, which are low calorie dense foods, which are higher in calories. You learn portion control. You learn what, when, and why to eat certain foods. You realize that you can still eat everything, but there's certain choices that are smarter than others. And so you think about it. You become an educated and informed consumer. No longer do you just eat. You eat with a purpose. The purpose being to fuel yourself as well as to balance out the foods that taste good. And once you learn how to do that, it becomes easy. Not to maintain single digit body fat in a six pack, but easier to remain healthy. Remember, this is not about getting the perfect body. It's about being healthy or becoming better than you are. I sat in the car for several hours and didn't eat. And here's where the trick came in, because she wanted to go to Walmart afterwards, so I took her, and I bought 
so many pizzas. And so one of the things you need to do with your diet is to be proactive. Brentley had to drive his aunt to the hospital for a checkup. He was on the road, didn't have any food. So he resulted in going out and picking up some pizza. And so what he should have done is had a seco bar ready in the car. And if not a seco bar, it could have fruit, apples, bananas. Pre-plan these things. Life is going to throw you curveballs every single day. And if you don't plan for it, that is when it's going to be that much harder. If you're traveling, you're on the road, you're going to work, and you're getting hungry, you're going to stop at a fast food restaurant and buy something that doesn't make sense. Something that perhaps if you had a sequel bar ready, you'd simply eat that. And remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. You know there's going to be a point when you're going to be hungry, you're on the road. And if you don't have a snack available, that is when temptation, it's going to creep in. And so why not have the fruit, the sequel bar? Have something. And these curveballs, these events are for sure going to happen. And so plan for it. Have a sequel bar. Have a snack readily available. And if you're at home and you look in the fridge and there's nothing to eat, what do you think you're going to do? Order fast food. And so always have a plan. Have food that's healthy, that's readily available. You owe it to yourself. Thinking, no, I don't got time. You don't have time not to do this. Remember, you never blow your diet for the day. It's at the end of the day, calories in, calories out. And so it's early in a day, perhaps it's lunch or supper. Just because you had one large meal with way too many calories doesn't mean you need to keep eating. You're allowed to stop eating. You're allowed to say no. Perhaps at night have a salad, protein ice cream, something with fewer calories, vegetables, fruits, Greek yogurt. But the point is, Never give up. And even if it's one bad day, the entire day, perhaps you ate 5,000 calories too many, so many too much. So why this one day, one day an entire year? Do you have to do the same thing tomorrow? Of course not. Tomorrow you wake up, eat healthy again, get back on the wagon, do your cardio and training and it's no big deal. It's like driving to work. If you take one wrong turn, you really think you can't go to work that day? So what, it's one wrong turn. Get back on track. Do a U-turn if you need to. Just make sure the cops aren't looking. You get back on track, and so what? You show up one minute late. Big freaking deal. It's one minute. But the worst thing you can do is make one wrong detour and give up. And go home, quit your job. That would be equivalently as stupid as falling off the wagon and completely giving up. Any one day is not going to make or break your diet. It's not. It's one day in a freaking year. Towards it, and they get to this level where it's like, I gotta keep improving, I gotta keep going further. But really, you should be going slow and making slow progress. Exactly. It's not about losing the weight as fast as possible. It's about slow and steady progress. And because Brentley is so large, 480 pounds, which he's lost 80 pounds already, the guy can eat a lot. And so even if he overeats his calories, he's trying to eat about 3,000 calories. Even if he eats over that, 4,000, it's most likely still going to result in a deficit. And so he doesn't need to eat perfectly. He can have slip-ups. It's not a big deal. You just continue doing the best that you can do. Never give up. Stay proactive. Stay the course. And you will reach your destination. Not as fast as you once thought you could, but better late than ever. And what would be the point of getting to that destination if as soon as you get there, you go back home? I'd rather you get there and enjoy it. Stay the course. Stay at that goal weight. Losing the weight only to then regain it as soon as your diet's over, it's a waste of time. Slowly lose the weight, get to the destination, and keep the weight off. Looking for the low-fat recipes? Of course, get my freaking cookbook and the supplements, Cold Greg, 10% off. If you can't afford it, have designed a free diet and training program, click the link in the description, enter your first and last name, email address, and voila! It's over 50 pages quality information to help you on your free weight loss journey. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for your algorithm, watch the bloops, of course, cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, phone consults, follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro, and until next time, I am out.